Hello everybody, Jurassic Player here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to break and unbreak your Ace Card 2i. Um, technically, it's supposed to be a firmware update, but I'm going to show you how to break it first. Now, here's the micro SD I'm going to be using. It's a 2 gigabyte, and it just has the files that you see here. Um, of course, I got AKAO from AKAO.net, um, and then the firmware update from the official Ace Card website, acecard.com. And uh, I'll just be showing you how to brick it and how to fix it. Now, please note that I do not recommend you attempt bricking your Ace Card for no reason whatsoever, like I am going to do now. And also, if you ever do plan on doing it, be sure to have a DS Lite or DS Fat readily, uh, you know, readily in your possession. First up, we're going to turn on the DS. Okay, so it's AKAO, um, and this is the uh, 3DS firmware update, so that supposedly makes it work on the 3DS, but I don't have a 3DS, so I'm using this for other purposes. I think first up, what I'll do is, uh, if I can remember... I think it's in properties. Nope. Yep, yeah, okay. So I have no idea anymore. I can't remember how to check. But, um... There is a way... Oh, wait, yeah. I remember now. Okay, so if you go to help, it will show you your hardware. Hardware 81. And, um... Uh, that means that technically, mine would work totally fine with this update. Um... Uh, the current update does not work correctly on hard on the uh, 44 version. So, pretty much the older version where there is a chip in the middle, the big chip that sticks out instead of the uh, little dip. I mean, not dip, the little bump in the middle that you see on the uh, Ace card that I had or that I have. And, uh, yeah, so, here you see we have a Ace Curd 2i firmware update, 3DS version 1 for the DSi, and then the DS Lite version. For the most part, you always want to use the DSi version if you can still run your Ace Card, because that version is the one that actually does not need any other DS and... Technically, you could use the DS Lite one, but that's just a waste of time, because that takes more effort. Now, so I'm going to show you the DSi one. Press that. And then it says the update. And this may damage your car. It has a small chance. You know what you're doing. Are you sure you want to continue? Press start. Okay, I'll do it. Updating. Do not turn off DS. And what do I do? Turn it off. Oh, snap. Yes, if you cannot read the instructions, you will break your ace card. As you can see here, it no longer works. Yes, so it no longer works. And if you noticed, I had to paste this video together because my camera that I'm using does not have that much memory. So anyways, it doesn't work. As you can now tell, it's totally bricked. If you don't have a DS Fat or a DS Lite, you might as well toss that to the trash because you can't do anything with it unless you get one. Or, the other idea, other alternative is if you have a DSi and another flash card, I think. No, never mind. I'm joking. Of course not. Yeah. 
so this is my DS2 right now. Um, I have the uh, file that I'm going to be using to unbrick it. See here? Remember that DS Lite version? Yes, that is what you have to use to unbrick your DS, uh, your Ace Card 2i. So all you really have to do is uh, run it. If I can run it slowly, not so slowly. And then it says, before update, please eject card and insert it again. So what I'm going to do is eject it. Yay, my DS2. And put in my Ace Card 2i. Hopefully it is connected and uh, the contacts are, you know, in place. And we just click B to continue. And then it says, okay, you want to do it again? <laughs> and so this time I won't actually turn it off and be stupid. And I'll click OK. Now, the DSi version, the reason it's called the DSi version is because you can use it on the DSi as long as your ACE card is still working and it will update the firmware for you. The DS Lite version is for the, for unbricking and it's also for using one DS to flash a whole bunch of other ace card two eyes that you just happen to have i guess or if you have friends and you know you want to update all theirs at once same thing now the update is done press start and the next for the next card or just reboot the ds and so what we're going to do is just reboot the ds and once again it's turning on And voila! Guess what, guys? I just unbricked my D my Ace Card 2i. It was bricked for all of what? Less than 10 minutes. Now, just to show you that it works, I'm going to be loading this. And there you go. You see the logo? That's all I really care about. So, now you know it's possible to unbrick your Ace Card 2i. So long as you have a DS light or a DS fat, if you have a DSi only or DSi XLL or whatever, DSi LL, all those other random names and the 3DS, you are unfortunately stuck if you brick your D Ace card to I. So I don't recommend you doing it. <laughs> On the other hand, if you have a DS fat, or a DS Lite, have fun, brick it, do what I do. And uh, yeah, um, that's how you brick, unbrick your Ace Card 2i and um, the basic setup. Um, the two update files, the firmware files, you can delete them, and that's it. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you have fun bricking.